following content may not be suitable for all viewers. Your discretion is advised. It is not healthy to do this, but I do not care anymore. You should really- this is like your second bottle. Almost. Or at least, I think. You should chill. Maybe. I want you to understand what I fucking went through. And I don't I mean, know how else to cope. I guess. I mean... You can talk about it instead of drinking it away, because I know it's not going to go away. You're just going to feel like more shit. What the am I going to talk about? How the animatronic I fixed attempted to kill me? I mean, that's really all you can do. What else can you do? But, Dad, I'm sorry to say, that's, that's hey, really all the uh... But oh, you... Hey. Forgot I called you. Why are you on the floor? Because I'm drinking. Okay. God damn it, Ronnie. People usually drink on tables. You know, there's, there's a bar there. <sighs> you want help up? I'm fine. Not okay. that drunk. Uh huh. Uh, I didn't know what to get you for the moment, but I, I got some chips. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, they're called crisps in the UK, I think, and other places. Thank you, Ronnie. Anyway, let me take you to why I called you. Yeah. So one of my okay. animatronics got impaled. Uh, by another one of my animatronics who attempted to kill me. Ah. Uh, okay. <sighs> Hi, Butch. Hello. Hi, Butch. So, here's Foxy. Oh, shit. GC threw a pipe at me. And Foxy jumped in the way. And it, I had to carry him from a fucking shipping yard all the way here. You need therapy, bud. Oh, really? Oh, you know, when you have an animatronic that you thought, you know, maybe they're just having bad trauma. And then, you know, they kidnap you by beating you over the back of the head with a pipe or some fucking metal object, because that still hurts. And then just, <laughs> I don't know, throwing a pipe at you, saying that you don't understand pain, and just attempted to kill you. And then you watch an animatronic that you've been living and working with for months get impaled, and die in front of your eyes. If they're even dead, which they're not, because they're in a coma! <laughs> yeah, my boy has issues. Okay, look. I'm- I'm- It's gonna be okay. You're, you're good now, right? You, you're fine? Mentally? Well, Fuck no. No, not mentally, but, you know... Physically? I mean, I'm numb. Damn it, Iris. Listen! Why is he numb? He's, he's not numb. It... Oh no, I'm numb. Look, you're here. You're I'm also in excruciating alive. back pain. This fucker's hey. heavy. What, you want me to, like, snap your back or something after this? No, I think that honestly hurt worse. Uh, like pop the back again I think that hurt like worse massage? Or like oh, a massage, a a massage would work actually yeah I Probably. could like I just I could I mean I'm not that heavy I don't think you are the I lightest could just, no, no. I could just kind of like stand on your back because I have soft toe beans um, I just noticed that Bonnie is okay yeah he oh. they did that um <sighs> Okay. How... Okay, um... What do I need to buy? Um, obviously new, uh, fabric to cover up the, uh, giant hole in this man's... Chest. I also need... No, I need to buy him a new motherboard, because his motherboard internally is shattered, but his processor still works. Yeah... Mm, yeah, yeah, okay. Um... Uh, might need some more metal. Well, yeah, his endoskeleton frame is shattered. Yeah, yeah. 
I didn't know what I needed to buy because I immediately was getting dragged around to go eat and drink food because I was kidnapped for three days. I knew. Um, uh, this is a little fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, just, just give me, just give me a sec. I, I, I think. I'm sure there's a lot of parts somewhere in the crates if you need them. I don't know how good those parts are. Is there? I mean, there's probably parts in there. I don't know if they're usable. Uh, so you can go ahead and take a look. Butch, help them, uh, please. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just you, you'll be okay. Just I'm just gonna sit here. Chill. Okay. Let's go. Is there anything I can do? I mean, I'm not really helpful in this situation, but I can I at know. least. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Everything's gonna be alright. I promise. I don't know what we're gonna do with the whole GC stuff, but like... I don't even know where the fuck he is. Just don't worry about it. That's least of your worries what do you right mean? now. Don't worry about it. If he attempted to kill me, he'll kill other people. Just... Don't... I know it's a thing you have to worry, but just don't for right now. You need to worry about yourself. What are you going to do? I've never done anything else but fucking worry. Then. It's kind of rude for me to say, just stop worrying. Yes, you, you need to worry about yourself, but. If you're always worrying about everything, your life's not going to be any better. It's going to be shit. <laughs> I was just born into shit. And you don't have to keep living in it. It's your choice if you want to stay in it or not. I can't fucking escape it. Everywhere I fucking go, something breaks down and goes to shit. Because I don't know what is wrong with me. And it's always going to stay like that. <laughs> Myself, Bonnie, when Fox is repaired, and, you know, Butch. We're all here for you. Yeah, it may not always seem like that between you and I, but he'll care for you and hope for the best for you. But like, if you always think about the negatives, then how are you ever going to be happy? If you try at least, yeah, it may suck at first because it's not going to do much, but if you at least think positively, then <laughs> you'll at least just for now breathe. I've never oh, fucking known positive. The only thing that was positive in my fucking life was my fiance, and then she fucking left me after I got robbed. Iris. My parents <laughs> neglected me. I was forced to do taxes from the age of fucking seven or eight or something. I don't even. I didn't properly know how old I was until you looked it up. I had to move in with my college professor to make sure I didn't do something stupid. Were you happy with him? Or her? I don't know anymore. I mean... Because it doesn't matter if I was happy, because clearly I fuck everything up around me. I mean... You didn't, if you opened up this place. I mean, I doubt anyone would have really, you know, gave us a chance. Or at least, I don't know. And you're a really good owner. You didn't fuck up that. You just wanted to help the entire time. And that's good. You've made us smile. Yeah, we may be, you know, chaotic or whatever. But you've really done a lot. You've made us smile. You've made us happy. Yeah, it's maybe not you, but... We want to do as much as we can to see you happy. I don't know much of what we can do, but... If there's anything you need... At all, even if you don't think that you'll be happy. I know, at some point... Something will happen that... Make you happy. Make you finally feel the happiness that you 
so-called only felt with your ex-fiance. I mean, do you think we were mistakes? You opening up this place? Being with us for... Of course not. Then, wouldn't you say that's a positive? Something you didn't fuck up? There's multiple things I'm sure you didn't fuck up. I mean, I bet you have good grades. And if you learned taxes, w wow. I mean, I can't really do it and I'm supposed to know everything, you know? I'm the machine. Yeah, you say that we're human, but you're human too. don't know anymore. <laughs> I promise everything's gonna be alright, alright? Okay. You, you're doing good? I guess. I kind of heard a little bit. Well, I didn't expect it to be unheard. I was kind of screaming. Yeah, um... I... I'm, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I know, but I... That's awful. <sighs> and anyways, uh, so, sorry. You found um, musical parts? Yeah. Uh, not enough to get him, like, back in perfect shape, but it's enough to do something. Can you at least get him online with it? Yeah, yeah. I can order um other parts you need. You just need to, like, message me or something. The parts you need. Uh, yeah, I, I, I might do that. But, uh, I think this might be enough. I, I'm not so, sure. So, I was able to connect to his processor, and he's technically not offline. Do you know if he can hear us? I, I have no idea, actually. Um. From what I saw, it's like he's in a coma. Maybe. I mean. His body's just not responding to his brain. Maybe. I mean, I've never experienced like, talked with anybody who's ever been in a coma before, but... If you can hear me, Foxy, and if you can't, I'll say it again when you wake up. Thank you for saving my life. And if you're hearing this, make sure to tell me the, 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 the word. Pineapple. I think that was the same word I said before. I don't know. Yeah. It was. Thank you. I'll leave you to work. Okay. Hey. Ours. Yeah. Don't drink again. <laughs> I'll go to the arcade and listen to my music. Does that mean I can get your number? What? <sighs> Alcoholism runs in the family, doesn't it, Dad? <sighs> I love being just like that piece of shit. <laughs> 